Hundreds of Philadelphia students are not in their classrooms today as the school district deals with new asbestos issues in two additional schools. The teachers union is now calling on the governor to declare a state of emergency. Well, Live News reporter Dan Koob is now at the now closed Clara Barton Elementary School in Feltonville with the latest developments. Good afternoon, Dan. Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Janelle. The number is now 10. We now know of 10 schools in Philadelphia that have found asbestos inside them. The latest, Clara Barton Elementary here behind me in Feltonville, and also James Sullivan Elementary. Both of those schools are now closed through the weekend with hopes of reopening on Tuesday. But earlier today, people, parents bringing their kids, their children to this school in hopes of taking them to school this morning, turned away, unaware that the school was now closed. We're told asbestos found in an attic where an old ventilation system was inactive. It was inaccessible to students or staff, so the school closing as a precaution. President's Day again Monday. So as I said, the school deciding over the weekend if it can remediate the issue and be safe to reopen on Tuesday. But it's not the only school. James Sullivan Elementary also found asbestos in an attic area that requires remediation. I mentioned the total number. Now up to 10 schools in the city with asbestos, and the fear is that that number will continue to grow. It got to stop somewhere, somehow, some way. Just it's, it's crazy. There's another school that kids can't go to school, and kids like to go to school. Like they excited to get up in the morning, get dressed, and walk to school. But now they walk and being told they can't come to school. That's it's kind of disappointing. It's no secret that most of the buildings in the district are old, and um, asbestos containing materials are in those buildings. And um, this is something that we've been dealing with for quite some time. And um, we are willing and we want to work with the PFT and all stakeholders who want to address the situation as, as swiftly as possible. Again, we all think that everyone's main priority is the uh, safety of our children. Now, PFT, the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers, has called a press conference for later this afternoon in which they will ask Governor Tom Wolf for immediate funds to help remediate this issue from the state's rainy day fund. We're live in Feltonville. Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Janelle. A huge issue, of course, we'll continue to stay on top of it. Thank you so much, Dan.